I mean, look at that head. Look at it. Look at that point. <laughs> it's knobbly. That's what that head is. Hey there. You're watching the Jessa channel on YouTube. I'm Jessa. And today I am here with episode four of Nelly Kutalat, the Fowler Fleet. And we left off on a musical interlude where Nelly was just here and uh, talking to this musician fellow. Because we're trying to find Justice Groat. Here's the courthouse. Let's see if we can enter it. Hey, Sebastian. It's locked. It only opens for trials. Justice Groat is probably up in Groat Manor. Oh, thanks. You're welcome. I mean, thanks. <laughs> automatic, <laughs> automatic polite mode. <laughs> You're the welcome. Rum shark is attracted to traces <laughs> of alcohol. Don't drink and dive. Okay. So let's go back to the pro <laughs> the promenade. And I think this is where we need to be. I love this. Oh, I love how this area looks. It's fantastic. So this must be the aforementioned Grote Manor. The entrance. Oh, well, hello, sweetie. How you doing? Uh... Hey Sebastian. Can what do you, you think of something? What do you think uh, of Enid? Fly at Enid's face and annoy her. Absolutely not. I know her type. She'd throttle me with her bare hands. I just love when he speaks. Anything he says is I'm pretty much I'm on board with. <laughs> All right. Uh, excuse me. I need to see Justice Grote. I need to see Justice Grote. Your name is not on the list. You may not see him. I haven't told you my name. What is your name, please? Uh, well, Fruity Hoops. Mandel brought Man Candle. Absolutely, because I love, absolutely love the, uh, uh, what the work that Mandel brought did to bring fractals into our world. Well, to discover them, Mandel sort of. Man Candle. <laughs> Not on the list. Plus, it was obviously made up. Uh, I'm well. Sure my appointment was just as gross. I told you. Yeah, but I accidentally said the wrong name. My real I did. name is... Yeah. Um, Slim Withers. Ebar Red Counts, Rind Council. Uh, Fruity Hoops. Well, all of these sound very obviously made up, so I guess we're just going to have to come clean. Nelly Kutalos. Not on the list. Plus, it was obviously made up. Hey! <laughs> that was awesome. I'm here if my appointment was just as gross. I told you. Yeah, but I accidentally said the wrong name. My real name is... <sighs> well... I think this sounds about as official as we're going to get. Nim Nim Chim <laughs> the third. Not on the list. Plus, it was obviously made up. All right, well, let's see if we can find a clue as to who might be on the Here's list. Who's the chump in the painting? That chump is his eminence, Justice Groat. Pretty chumpy. He is not a chump. <laughs> Pretty chumpy. Uh, <laughs> so it looks like we might have to look around for a clue as to... Wow. <laughs> okay, I'm totally not going to click on all these things. <laughs> That's absolutely not going to happen. Ah, we can look at the appointment Leave book. Leave that alone. Or not. Hmm. I need to get a peek at that appointment book. Damn her eagle eyes. Oh, hey, Sebastian. Can you help me with something? No, that's not right. Oh, no. You can't look at the appointment book? I've got a not. Aw. All right, well. Let's look at some of these I've paintings. I've got nowhere to hang them. I've got nowhere to hang Oh, them. okay. Good. I was hoping I wouldn't have to click on each one of these. 
Uh, let's see. Conch shell, bird detector blueprint, or a map? Hmm. I don't think lounging about will make a good impression on Groat. No, it won't. Uh... Well, Sebastian, let's see. What should we what do should now? What should we do now? I suppose we should talk to this Justice Groat. Any other ideas? Perhaps we should get better acquainted with the captain of the Sanitania. Yeah. And that grease monkey wanted a bottle of Mama Fish Cakes to fix up the airship. What else? We should find a receiver dish and a rod for Rackham's bird detector. Maybe there's a way of making Melly give us that gold sword. We should keep a lookout. And we should try to find a big metal dish. I agree. I love it. Could you write that down and keep that, you know, for me? Because I, I kind of didn't catch all that. So um, I Excuse think that me. the trick here is... Uh, Tell me more that... about Jump Face. Don't call him that. This is a painting of our distinguished Justice Groat. Ooh. Justice Groat hmm. comes from a long line of Looks Justice Looks like the only Groats. person with an appointment today is Mary Jane Morgan. Perfect. Pictured here with his beloved pocket watch, which was sadly stolen. Oh. Uh, hey. Uh, excuse me. Could you, uh... I love the way she looks, too. Very attractive. All right, so we have a we have a name. I told you. Yeah, but I accident my real. Mary Jane. Mary Jane Morgan. Better check your list. Whew. But. I... Oh, it seems you are on the list. Step this way, Miss Morgan. Call me Nelly. <laughs> Call me Nelly. Uh, all right, so we are free to pass by and see the eminent Justice Groot. Oh, look, he was just right there watching that whole thing. <laughs> He's just sitting here just watching that. We could have freaking waved at him through a palm, you know, like a like a, a a plum in his head. A palm. What is that? It's apple in French. Okay, so. Yes. So <laughs> Greetings, Justice Groat. I am Nelly Cootelot, adventurer, bird detective, carrier of many objects. And I am Justice Groat. Very busy. Get to the point. You weren't busy. You were sitting there picking your nose. Please make me a privateer. A privateer? How irregular. Van Zant keeps a small number of privateers on staff. A noble band, selflessly dedicated to protecting these isles. Ha! Make me a privateer, and I'll be twice as noble as those dolts. Yeah. <laughs> Perhaps I should consult Van Zant. No, you shouldn't. No, no, you shouldn't. Don't consult Van Zant. An applicant of my noble nobility must address Justice Grote himself. Well, if I was to commission you, you'd have to prove yourself. Yes. How? You'd have to show your tactical prowess. Easy. I would require proof of your great deeds. Piffling. <laughs> to be admired by the people. Nebo. Well. <laughs> I love it. Piffling. <laughs> She's so cute. All right, well, let's see how you prove how your great deeds. How can I prove my great deeds? A worthy candidate would appear in the annals of maritime history. The what's of maritime history? Books, young lady. Books. Show Books. me an account of your heroism in a respectable publication, which I very much doubt you'll be able to do, and I will be satisfied on this point. Oh, dear. <laughs> how can I show my tactical prowess? You must play Van Zant at the great game of the sea. And if I win, you'll believe I have tactical prowess? <laughs> My dear, you have no hope of winning against a master like Van Zant. If you can draw against him, then I will be satisfied. Oh boy, it might be a long day. How can I convince you I'm loved by the people? Well now, let me see. Most popular heroes have a song written about them. Yes. Show me that you've been immortalized in folk song, 
then I would consider you a potential candidate. All right, so uh, we have to win at a game, be written up in a book, no problem, and um, have a, a song written about us. Well, Sebastian can take care of that. She can, he can tweet something out, no problem. All right, got it. Got you Catch later. you later. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't do it when she's doing. <laughs> Can't help it. Yeah, he's gonna go take a nap. Hey, sweetie, how you doing? All right, Sebastian, let's beat it. Ooh, the song. Oh, Solomon's Bride. Okay, well, first let's go challenge a uh, pointy head to a game. Hey, pointy head. I mean, look at that head. Look at it. Look at that point. <laughs> it's knobbly. That's what that head is. All right. So, Van Zandt. I challenge you to the great game of the sea. Do you know how to play? Uh, no. I'm a busy man. Talk to Moses Melly, quartermaster. If you beat him, I might do you the honor of thrashing you. I love his voice. It's great. See ya. <laughs> Nellie, you got to give Nellie a lot of credit. She's very, very persistent. Really awesome. She doesn't let any of this stuff get her down. She's like, oh, no problem. No problem. All right. Yo, Moses. Will you teach me the great game of the sea? Depends. Are you willing to commit body and soul to an ancient and profound game? Yeppers. Absolutely. Yeah, very yep. well. Let us play. <laughs> Uh-oh. This is amputation. Okay. Well, yeah. I don't this feel so easy. I don't feel so good about this. <laughs> but all right. Tweezer. Lifts. Oh, got it. Yeah, okay, great. I can do this. Hey, give me my eyeball back. <laughs> well, we'll go for another part. His uh, leg here. I'm going to lift straight up. Very gently. Yes. <laughs> this is amputation. It's like uh, that surgery game when you played with your kids. Haha, <laughs> you'll never get it. You'll never do it. Alright. Bottle. Come on, Nelly. You can do it. You can do it. Ah! Awesome! That eye's gonna be hard. Get off the eyeball. I'm gonna go for the eyeball. I'm gonna win. No! He got the eyeball! Oh well. I'm like lifting my mouth so slowly because I don't want to lose it. You sunk my battleship. Woohoo! Nelly Kutalat wins! Yay! That makes up for that sorcery game well, I played. <laughs> You're not as dim as you look. Hey, thanks. Now I'm ready to play Van Zandt. Oh, oh, no one's ever beaten Van Zandt. Plus, he cheats. But that's all right. That's all right. Um, so we're going to challenge him again. But I don't know. I have a feeling he cheats. I just have a strong, Close strong feeling. Well, what if I don't feel like closing the door? I said keep that door closed. There's a draft in here. Okay, well, I guess I'm closing the door. I know. Your evil lair. <laughs> so t insidious shelves, dastardly map. Sinister covered. <laughs> All right, Nelly, we're rooting for you. Oh, I love it. He has some shackles up here. I've beaten Melly. Melly at the great game of the sea. Come on, game on. Game on. Oh, well. Do it, baby. Destroyed. Absolutely, you big fat cheater. Okay. I don't know. I don't like how fast you did that. I don't like it at all. 
Let's go. Let's do the same thing we did before. Careful, 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 careful. Come on. Let me have it. Come on, let me have I don't like this at all. I don't like this at all. All right, try again. Something tells me that this is rigged. Yes! You cheater! Ugh. Come on, Nelly. Easy, easy does it. Easy. Jin Gentle, just like that bugger. I don't like this. <sighs> All right. Well, I know that one didn't work. And I just tried this one. Actually, I just remembered it. Okay. I don't know. I have a feeling I... All right, you know what? I think it's time for plan B. Plan, plan B is to take our tweezers and and I pop quit. them... In, yeah. And pop them in There's the eyeball with funny it. funny going on with Van Zandt's edition of Amputation. I need to get a closer look. But I can't get near it without his beady, sneaky little beetle-browed, stupid little sneaky... <laughs> yeah. Stupid eyes. <laughs> I know. So let's open the door again that he didn't like because it blows out his candle. Poof. I said keep that door closed. Wait, open it. And then amputation. Yes. All right, what have you what have you done? What have you done? I don't think that will work. Is it perhaps What's this? <laughs> I knew it. Fun <laughs> Patented O'Toole rigging switch. It's like, why else would just type cheater on it? <laughs> he has rigged the game. Okay, so we are going to rig it in our favor. That's awesome. Hey, pointy head. Care for a game? <laughs> or not. Can't click on him. Don't know why. Let's play again. Ah, okay. Alrighty then. Ha ha ha! Eat that. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I, did, I got so confident. <laughs> Alright, did I do this wrong? I hope I didn't do it wrong. Let's try this again. Yay! Okay, I didn't. Good. Never gonna get it! <laughs> you know what? I'm feeling pretty confident. I think I might go for the eyeball next. <laughs> That's, that sounds out of context. That sounds, ex that sounds extremely weird. <laughs> I'm feeling confident I'll go for the eyeball next. I'm concentrating all of my <laughs> brain cells on this. <laughs> no, you're not gonna get it. <laughs> I love how he doesn't figure out that we've rigged it. He's just keeps trying to go for that sword. Let's take the sword from him. <laughs> just to really like rub it in. <laughs> Got 
got it. One last one to go. <laughs> this game amuses me. They did a good job with it. Yay! Champion! Impossible, <laughs> you must have cheated. Yeah, you know what no that's like. You. Ah. But objective complete. <laughs> we have foiled him and his knobbly little nugget head. Ha. Huh. Okay, so uh, what's, the, what's the next thing we need to do? Um, oh, get a song written. Hey, Solomon, how you doing? Later. Oh, shoot, Later, I'm sorry. Totally didn't mean to do that. Apologize. Yeah, he didn't even get started. You should immortalize me. You should immortalize me in folk song. My name's easily silly enough. Absolutely. <laughs> the truth is, I can't write. I've lost my muse. Where did you last see it? It ain't something you see. It's something you feel. Something that follows you, inspires you. Writing you letters and sending you bits of hair. You mean a groupie? Yeah, that's the kind of muse I need. Well, if we find you a muse... If I find you a muse, will you put me in a song? Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Will you? Yes. <laughs> so... Maybe I could be your muse. No offense, miss, but I need someone with a poetic soul. Hmm, I do hate all poems except cat ones. Exactly. I hear ya. <laughs> in fact, my sister-in-law, a really awesome, got us a, a book uh, that was written. It was written by cats. It was awesome. I don't remember the title of it. It's downstairs, but uh, it basically is uh, cat poems. It's pretty awesome. Oh, of course. How could I forget? It's called <laughs> um, I Could Pee on This, I think it's called. <laughs> It's pretty funny. Okay, so, uh, how do we find him a muse? Hey! What's happening, sister? So, you've got a banjo, a harmonica, windswept hair, a faraway look in your eyes. Are you a jockey? I'm the folk singer, Solomon Spry. Well? What do you sing about? The truth. That oh, the that's Zandis deep. The waterfront is a racket, and just as groat is a mere puppet. I hate puppets. Is it the string kind? Nope, just the supine fatso who rubber stamps all of Van Zandt's shady dealing. On the other hand, I also sing about folk heroes like Private Air Pudding and Pigtails McCrow. Oh, I used to date Pigtails McCrow. Really awesome, dude. Okay. So, how many roads must am I have? <laughs> a tour guide? I think that's a... I, I, you know, it's terrible because I'm married to a musician, but I know that that's a reference to a musician, but I don't know which one. Ah, I'm embarrassed. Nobody tell my husband, okay? But uh, if you know which uh, musician that was referring to, please put it in the comments. How many roads must a man walk upon, etc., etc.? Everybody must collect stones. You look like you collect everything that ain't nailed to the deck. <laughs> knock, knock, knocking on everything. I knew door. this one. I don't get it. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> How does How it feel? How does it feel to be a Rolling Stone? Well, you gather no moss. That said, Keith Richards is covered with a rare form of lichen. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably true. Okay, so I think we have talked to Solomon Later. about everything we can. Later, baby. He did offer us a um a sticker case. Let's see if we can take a sticker. I don't know what it's going to do for us, but Solomon Spry sticker. I'd buy one on eBay. I'd like to know um, who did the singing for this one. It's actually pretty good. Okay, so... Um, we need to find a muse, and we also need to get um, into a book somehow. Let's go to Shantytown, because I think we've done everything we can do here. Hey! How you doing, Sebastian? Okay. 
No, you should never steal an A-board. They can snap oh. shut on your fingers and flap wildly in high winds. Okay, well, I just wanted to kind of read it, but, you know, all right. It does look fun to swing on. But I've her, got a job to do. Her voice is great. It really is. Okay, so uh, we have a pub entrance, a tea shop. Let's head to the tea shop. I'm, I could use a cup of tea. I'm not kidding. Oh, hey, how you doing? Professor Mary Jane Morgan. Love your hair. Hi, Nellie. What's your name? I'm Professor Morgan. What brings you here, Nellie? I'm trying to make a name for myself as a buccaneer. In a tea shop? I might need some caffeine. As it happens, I know a thing or two about pirates. Well, what do you what know? What do you know about pirates? Almost everything. I'm the senior lecturer in piratical studies at West Ham University. Wow. In fact, I'm compiling the Encyclopedia Piratanica. <gasps> Here's our author. The Encyclopedia Piratanica. Will you put me in it? I'm an excellent pirate. What's your name? Nellie Kutalot. The pirate who plundered an entire shipment of baked beans? That's me. Oh, that's Nellie Toot. Never mind. Oh. I'm really famous. Nellie Tootalot. <laughs> I can't put you in the book. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay. Why can't you put me in the encyclopedia? <laughs> I really need to impress Justice Grote with what a mint pirate I am. I couldn't if I wanted to. The first volume, R to Cutlass, has been stolen. Stolen? <gasps> what is it? I tried to, but someone took my appointment with Justice Grove. Oh, oh, uh, mm, yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> Who stole the encyclopedia? I don't know, but that fatuous ninny at the window knows something. Yes, he does. But he won't tell, the bloated pufferfish. Not a squeak. Listen, if I get your book back, will you put me in it? If you get that smug sophist to help you, you'll deserve it. A smug sophist. Don't know what a sophist is. I'll have to look it up. If you know, let me know. <laughs> have you ever heard of Bloodbeard? William? Yes, I used to know him quite well. Wow, I bet he was amazing. Was he amazing? Well... How amazing? Let's talk about something else, okay? Um, okay. <laughs> Uh, I'm still giggling about Nelty t Nelly Tutelot. What do you think of this place? <laughs> well, the coffee tastes like milky ash. The patrons are vacuous posers. And you have to hawk your gold teeth just to buy a gluten-free biscotti. Pretty average, then. <laughs> What's up between you and that guy? Beating a lexicographer at Scrabble is not, it's a, not good a good idea. idea. He's mm -mm. never forgiven me. How childish. <laughs> and my victory dance didn't even last that long. <laughs> I will fully admit that I have a Scrabble victory dance, too, and it involves a lot of knocking of knees and pointing. <laughs> Enjoy your coffee. Take care. Okay, so we have um, Dr. Lemuel Pettywig. He's going to be fun. And we also have this cute one over here, Nancy Curie. And we're going to talk to both of those people and get Nellie immortalized in a pirate book and a pirate encyclopedia in the next episode. But in this episode, I'm going to take you back out to the main menu after I type in the words episode four, because I can do that and talk at the same time, I think. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to take you out to the main menu so that I might say that I am so glad that you joined me today for more of Nelly Kutalat episode four. And if you enjoyed what you saw, please hit the thumbs up button below. And if you loved it, join the party and subscribe. This game is available right now for your purchase on Steam. It's worth it. It is really worth every penny. It's a great game. Another one that you can play with your kids, your younger family members or your mom or whoever you want to. But I think it's just a really fun Saturday afternoon on the couch with kids with this game. So please consider buying Nelly Kutala and supporting the developers. That's how we get more fun games like this. And as always... Thank you so much for watching. <laughs>